Okay, mga chong, papakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano gumagana yung cloud streaming. So, I've been trying to make it work right for quite some time now here in Philippines. Um, it's not working, as you probably know, on my Converge um, connection. Hold up, let me just um, lower the volume. So, wala akong nakapair na PS5 dito. Um, later on, lalabas tayo kasi pag nagpunta ako ng settings, um, essentially, very disconnect na siya, right? But right now, gusto ko lang pakita sa inyo na Kumunik siya sa Miles Morales, so I'm trying that. I think I probably need this Spider-Man decals as well, no? Para kumunik. No, just kidding. <laughs> but, ito siya ngayon. Again, if I go here, it pauses the game, right? So, may kita mo, close, marble, Spider-Man. Wala kong yung ano yung goes to, go to PlayStation 5, right? Yung home or yung control center. Because I'm not connected to a PS5. So, this is just the uh, the game. And it says maximum resolution 1080p. Alright, it's 1080p right now. You can set it up on 720p. Mabilis si internet ko. So I think that should be good. And again, um, settings. Now, if we, we enable the uh, network status here, may kita nyo mo dyan. Yung network name ko, pinangalanan ko siya ng sarili, no? For PS Portal. So, 5 gig yan. Sa Converge, again, Converge router ko, strong. Um, 2.6 yung current na ginagamit niya Latency, as you can see, is actually pretty high Right, 52 millisecond And I think that has to do something eh Yung, yung, yung latency sa Pilipinas Siyempre malala sa mga server ng Sony Maybe wala pa talaga silang um, You know um, Infrastructure here that will support Because essentially, it's an R1 account Right, it's for US That's the problem, hopefully Sony or Playstation Will actually expand, right, to Asia To Philippines uh, And support R3 Come on, Sony. Uh, ang laki-laki ng binabayad namin sa inyo. And uh, we are your fans, right? Americans actually using like Xbox most of the time. So hopefully, Sony, you hear us and um, really support us. But anyway, let me just disable the uh, network status first. And let's just test, right? I want to I wanna see the performance on the cloud streaming. Again, this is cloud streaming. Yung, yung quality niya, no? As you can see, it's even clearer than my Steam Deck OLED because 1080p siya. Um, I'm just curious on the delays. Later on, after natin ma-check yung input lag niya or something, I will go out uh, on the home screen or dashboard and then I will show you yung settings ko sa router ko anong ginawa ko para mapagana siya. Again, this is using Converge um, ISP, which is not working, right? Uh, at least for me, on by default. So, bro, ang linaw niya, no? For, for like an LCD. This is not an OLED, but you can see colors are just really popping, right? It's crazy. Wow. Like, what? It looks really, really good right now. I'm, I'm quite surprised. And for a cloud, it's it's surprisingly high fidelity, right? High quality. I, I, I'm expecting like um, pixelation or something like that. Like you're watching like 360p, right? Or 480p. Um, YouTube, but it doesn't look like that. It actually looks really, really pretty. What happened? No way. I think intro, so let's go ahead and put up the volume again. I just want to see the input lag because I, I already played on the R3, right? Connected to my PS5, bro. The haptics of this is crazy. I can see this crazy. Okay, so hold R2 to swing. Okay, whoa! Oh my god. The delay is really good, and look at the... It's loading everything super fast as well. It's like you're paying on a PS5 Pro. I don't know if there's a delay. You know what? Um, let's go. Can we actually go down? Okay. So, pahit na ako dito yung delay, no? Press X to jump. So, that's X. Let's see the delay. Alright. Noticeable delay, right? Um... Let me see. One, two, three, four. It's actually not bad, right? You're gonna get used to it. What? So that's the delay, if you notice. It's almost like the same as you're playing on your PS5. See? You can actually... Whoa! This is... It looks even better, when <laughs> you know, compared to connected my PS5. Now, remember... When I'm connected to my PS5 and my R3 account, it relies on the connection to the PS5 as well. Right? So my PS5 is connected to my network, Wi-Fi and all. 
So there's like almost two way, right? Of traffic and the web zip. Oh, okay. However, this one is just straight to the cloud, right? And looks pretty good. Oh my God, it looks, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, but it looks better than it's connected to my PS5. How is that possible? Like I'm looking at the quality outside my phone. Uh, I'm capturing on the phone, right? And it looks like, uh, what? Look at this. So see the quality, right, of the clothes. This is just via stream, right? But it's like complete detail. It's really, really good. The only problem here again is on the input latency. Now, it's going to depend on your connection because again, if you will enable, I do have uh, my you know connection here. And you can see 51 millisecond latency, which is pretty nuts, right? Now, imagine if your latency is just below 10. It's going to be super ultra responsive, right? But it's, it's, wow, it's playable. You're going to, you're going to like get used to it. But it's super responsive. It's playable. And the important thing is the quality is actually pretty good. Super clear. Wow. The thing is, if we go out and go to the settings, it's just going to go to the page. But I just want to show you that there's no PS5 connected here. So close game, it says. I hate that, you know, whenever it goes to the settings, it, it will close the game. But, you know, whatever. So that's definitely portal, as you can see. And going to the home page, again, I don't have PS5. I right? can't find pair console. So it's just, you know, no PS5 there. So what I did is... On the settings, right, I created a dedicated Wi-Fi. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like an Ethernet, uh, you know, dedicated port. So I named it 4PS Portal, right? And then it's going to show as NAT2. The, don't be fooled, though, because the normal connection can show NAT2 as well, but it might not work. So it's just, it doesn't really uh, tell you if it's going to work or not, but it's, you know, it's NAT2. If you notice, it's IPB4 address. 10.56 and it's not providing me a, a you know a, 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 a private IP or whatsoever all right so as you can see come on um I just wanted to again show you na hindi mo kailangan nga palang baguhin yung time, right? Because some of you might think na uh, kailangan baguhin yung time. So, I mean, you know, again, we can connect. Let's go ahead and just resume that real quick and get out of it. So, mabis pa mga glued, no? Parang PS5 talaga siya. So, as you can see, um, yan, yeah, nalaro ko na siya guide, right? Um, you know, mass. Now, let's get out of that really quick and go jump to the time, right? Or settings. So, pag pumunta ka sa settings, makaklose yan, right? And again, if I go to the settings, um, go to the date and time, ang oras is 12.32 a.m. Manila, right? So, as you can see there, says Manila, uh, set time automatically even uh, 12.32 because it's 12.32 here, right? Uh, Manila, umaga na. And so, hindi mo kailangan niyang baguhin. Also, wala ka rin actually kailangan gawin sa router. So, papakita ko, no? I mean, you know, maliban dun sa sinabi kong uh, bridge or direct IP. Um, ito, papakita ko sa inyo kung ginawa ko. So, ito yung um, converged router, right? So, sa converged router, I, I, I tried port forwarding, you know, enabling UNP, uh, UPnP and all of the stuff, right? PNP or DMZ. N none of those work. So, ito, um, UPnP, right? May magsasabi sa inyo, uh, kailangan nyong i-enable yan. Um, dito sa akin, hindi. Hindi ko na kailangan niya kasi nga, kinat ko na yung mga hops, right? You know, nag-bridge nag mode ako. So, without bridge mode, or if you bridge mode and then set up another router first, right? Doon sa router nyo, kailangan nyo enable yan kasi baka i-block niya yan, right? But since naka-bridge mode ako sa dedicated SSID lang, right? Meaning, I'm actually throwing a public IP directly to the PS portal, Right? Na hindi na, hindi na ako dumadaan sa local IP or yung 192.168. Hindi ko na kailangan yung mga routing stuff na ganyan. So, naka-disable yan. Uh, port forwarding, wala din. DMZ configuration, wala tayong laman dyan. 
uh, port mapping, port forwarding, wala 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 akong kahit na ano man nakalagay diyan. So again, ang ginawa ko lang, right? is gumawa ko ng additional dedicated uh, SSID for my Wi-Fi. Pinangalan ko siya ng port PS portal, of course, kahit anong lagay yung pangalan dyan. And then, dun ngayon sa one ko, right, sa, sa one connection na itong router, originally dalawa lang yan, right? Yung remote maintenance connection, tsaka yung internet connection mismo. Sa internet connection, routed kasi yan, right? Ibig sabihin, uh, acting siya as routing, but hindi siya PPPOE, nagbibigay lang siya ng IP over uh, you know connection DHCP. Um, yan yung hindi nakaka-connect kasi nga i-convert niya pa sa, sa sa ano sa NAT, right? Sa sa private IP. Meron kang port restricted cone NAT kahit na full cone kahit hindi siya gumagana. So what I did is again, I uh, I disassociate a certain SSID, there just SSID 2 or I actually created an SSID. Tapos nagnu ako dito, right? Take in new gumawa ako ng bagong uh, one, right? Wide area network. And then, bridge yun. Para hindi siya mag-act as router. And then, nilagay ko lang yung port na SSID to. So, again, parang ano yan. Parang nag-dedicate nila ng Ethernet, right? Um, connection. So, dyan naman, dedicated siya dun. Tapos, sa inyo, pinangalan ko kayo ng uh, PS portal, right? So, mangyari dyan, pag kumulik ako dyan, yung PS portal, makakuha siya ng public IP diretso from this Gpon modem. Right. Wala na mga NAT, wala na mga routing stuff, not even for, port forwarding or anything. Everything works, as you can see. Ang kailangan mo lang, is yung latency. Kasi nga medyo, you know, alangan eh, nasa 50 na tayo. So, essentially, nagaano siya. You know, nag, um, pag, bum, pag umakit ka ng 50, right, 52 or something, magkakaroon na siya na medyo, medyo latent na siya, right? Mas na latency. But, Yun lang guys, um, ito lang paano kayo nag um, That's all for today. Uh, subscribe kayo sa channel kung, kung um, nakatulong to sa inyo. Hopefully makakunik kayo. And again, pag nareceive ko na yung um, ang tawag dyan, pag nareceive ko na yung dito, right, na connection ko, I will try it there. So I can also show you if that works on the dito as well. But that's all for today guys. Let me know down the comments below if you have any questions. Plus ko lang si Goko kasi uh, astig siya. Nakakatawa. <laughs> but that's all for today. Have a good day guys. Have a good night. See you in my next video.